perceive some qualities of being a hypocrite and I fear that I might be a hypocrite or one day might become one, what do I do? Uh, SubhanAllah, the aspect that you're, you're able to recognize a shortcoming that's a na'mah. Mm. Isn't it right? Mm. Yes. So say Alhamdulillah. Say, all of you say Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So the aspect that you're able to, uh, so that's the first point, to say Alhamdulillah and be grateful that you're able to realize that Allah's test exposed you. And that's one of the first levels of tamhis. When a test falls upon a person, the intelligent amongst us is that we, we rectify, we fix the issues that we found in our mistakes and shortcomings. Now fearing hypocrisy, that is something which Abu Bakr as-Siddiq and the great of the Sahaba have experienced. How is that? One of the Sahaba, upon leaving the house of the Prophet وسلم, being reminded of Allah and the Deen and the Akhirah and Jannah and Nar, he went back to his wife and children and started to play, playing with them and he noticed his Iman was not as high as it used to be a few minutes ago. So he said, Nafaqa handala, you know what, I'm a hypocrite. So as he was walking to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he met Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu and he asked him, he looked, you know, sad, down, what's the matter? He said, I think I'm a hypocrite because of the Iman change. It dropped after leaving the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abu Bakr al-Siddiq said, you know what, same thing with me. Let's both go because we both apparently feel hypocrites. So when they spoke to the Prophet وسلم, and they expressed, expressed the problem, the Prophet وسلم, said, if you were to be able to maintain your Iman day and night the same way it would be when you're around me, angels will descend and say salam to you in the streets. If you're able to maintain that level of deen. So overall, we're human beings. Now, when it comes to hypocrisy, brothers and sisters, if you know to what is it that you're going through, so what are some traits of hypocrisy? We all know them. So the Prophet ﷺ in some ahadith, you would kind of put them in five categories. Something that I believe we should all learn. Isn't it right, Shaykh? We should all know the things that are bad, and therefore once you know them, then you'll be able to do that which is opposite, which is good. I have a course about akhlaq, so I teach the munafiqeen's akhlaq, so we can know what's the opposite of that. So he said, if you speak, you lie. If you make a promise, you break it. If you have a covenant, you breach it. What else? If you're entrusted, you're not tr trustworthy towards it. And the last one, if they get into an argument, the other person turns to be evil in the vulgar language and so on. May Allah protect us from hypocrisy. May Rabbil Alameen. So the, the bottom line is the following. You sensing that it's a ni'mah. Since you know it, then try your best to work around it. I ask you by Allah, if you're a person who tends, for example, to curse a lot, okay, إِذَا خَاصَمَ fajr. If you're around shuyukh, respected people, don't you notice that that language decreases? Isn't it noticeable? So I go back to the same advice I gave two questions ago, is companionship. Once again, a suhbah, that's a key aspect. Musa alayhi salam, a prophet of Allah, Kalimullah, spoke to Allah, he made dua to Allah for a companionship. So he can, he can be means of strengthening me. So he can glorify you more and more. So there's something I need to, to keep in mind. And some of the ulama have said, if you do not fear hypocrisy, then that's a sign of hypocrisy. So no one feels safe from hypocrisy except the hypocrite. So Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless you and always be wearied in state of hypocrisy as Ibrahim alayhi salam. Wallahi, this is remarkable. Ibrahim alayhi salam used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for protection from him, for him and for his children from shirk. Then what about us? So continue asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect you and the ultimate dua is Ya Muqallib al qulub Thabbit Qalbi Ala Deenik O Flipper of the Hearts Hold our heart steadfast upon your deen and Allah knows best and please add, add upon it. Amen.